Year 12 have got it easy at the moment because you've got at least 400 days until your real exams actually begin. At least, that's the kind of thing that a lot of Year 13 students are going to be saying now that they're going into their final few weeks of preparation. But if you are in Year 12, what could you be doing maybe over the Easter holidays and into the summer term to help you with your overall A-level physics grade? Well, for a lot of you, you're going to be having real exams if you're doing AS levels. And for everybody else, there will be some kind of testing that takes place during that summer term. And these exams can be quite important because they give you a grade that you're working at at the moment. Now that's going to be informing your teachers if it comes to them actually kind of evidencing your predicted grades, which are going to be useful for any UCAS applications and thinking about university next year. But for a lot of you as well, those grades that you get in your exams in year 12 are going to give you a good indication of your final grade for A-level physics. If you're getting a grade A in year 12, then it's almost guaranteed that you're going to get a grade A going into year 13, if not an A star. However, if you are just scraping an E at this point, unless you do something drastic to change how you're working, then you don't want to be in this position in a year's time where you're going to be kind of on that E, U borderline, and you really need to think about what you can do differently throughout the whole course to kind of improve your grade. So, I would suggest for anybody out there who's doing A-level physics, it doesn't matter if you're struggling with the course, if you're finding it super easy, I've got some work that I think all of you would benefit from. And what I've got are questions and short tasks for you to do every single day. And this is all backed up with answers for you to mark your work. I've got work solutions and video explanations for everything. Now, I've got all of this in this book here. It's called The Daily Workout. This is book three. And this is questions that cover March, April, May and June in your first year of A-level physics. Um, so basically, if we were to look at today's questions, uh, what we'd see that we've got, uh, you know, basically for the 8th of April, for example, you can see that there's just basically a simple question where you need to look at uh, percentage uncertainty. That's a skill that all of you need to have, no matter which exam board you're doing. We've got a couple of definitions that you just need to know off by heart. And then there's a question here um, to do with um, resistivity. On the next bit of the page, I've just got a picture of a common piece of instrumentation that you, or a common piece of apparatus that all of you should be knowing how to use. Some of you might just be using voltmeters and ammeters. A lot of the time, though, there are multimeters. Um, and then the next page has a question about resistivity. Now, this is one of the required practicals that a lot of you will have carried out. And this question is basically going to be reminding you of stuff you've done before and really develop your knowledge. In actual fact, um, I've got a real big um, kind of focus in this book, on book three, on the practical work that you will be doing in year 12. Now, this doesn't just include the way you might have done it in lessons, but it might be similar alternative methods, perhaps just using standard equipment. And a lot of these practical questions are the kind of things that I've seen asked in exams before. So although you might know about standing waves on a string, can you work out how to do uh, standing waves in a tube which is open or maybe a tube which is closed at both ends? Basically, lots and lots of practical questions for you to have a go at. Now, in the back of the book, um, I've got all the answers, all the numerical answers for you to quickly check your work. And then, because what I do is make videos, and I've got this website, alevelphysicsonline.com, if you go over there, and I've linked that uh, by this video, then you can also find and download a full set of work solutions. So this would be my approach to the questions on the 8th of April. So I've got my working out there. Um, that then links to this part of the question. The definition's all in the back of the book. Um, and basically what you can do is you can download a full set of work solutions where I show you my approach as a teacher to how to approach these kind of questions in the future. And of course, sometimes uh, that doesn't necessarily make sense if you're not sure about the answer. And that's where you can go and watch the videos at A-Level Physics Online, where I go through every single question and I give a, a brief explanation of it all. So basically, you can work independently doing lots and lots of physics. I am confident that if you get hold of this book and you have a go at the questions, that will mean that you're much better prepared for any exams that you've got coming up in the summer term. And of course, if you like what's in that book, I've also got uh, book four as well. And basically, this continues with questions every single day um, that cover July, August, September and October. So that transition from year 12 to year 13 and also that start of year 13 when you're doing some often more interesting topics. And also there's a big focus in this book on exponentials and logarithms, which are essential skills that sometimes people 
especially if you're not doing A-level maths, to find it a little bit tricky. So I can basically teach you not just about logs, but actually how logs can be used within the context of A-level physics. So that one there is book four. Um, you can find both of these on Amazon. They are hard copy at the moment only, so that means you can write in it and then you keep all of your notes in one place. And I know that for the students who've been doing this independently, and also lots of schools will actually buy this in and they get the whole class to do the work, they're finding that they're um, you know, just understanding the whole course a lot more. There's lots of spaced repetition. There's lots of um, you know, kind of active recall that you need to use to actually um, understand the questions. So I would say if you're in year 12, um, you do have it relatively easy at this point. And if you're a year 13 student watching this video, I'd love to hear your advice in the comments below. What do you wish you'd been doing at this point in year 12? What would you have done differently over the last year? So there we go. Uh, that's something that you might consider doing if you are a year 12 student to help you prepare for your future self in a year's time as you're going into your final stages of revision.